Amen. What can we glean from the Old Testament? Amen. What can we glean from the people in the Old Testament? That, that, that's the point right there. We're not reading this as an allegory, as a story, as a metaphor. We're reading this to take and put a proper application to our life from God's word. Because we believe deep in our hearts that God's word will not go out and return void, but it will accomplish that what it's set out to do. God's word is what will change your life. Amen. I don't care about all the preaching, all the other junk that go along. I'm talking about the Word of God. Amen. That's what's going to change our life. Amen. If we can understand and get a grip on the Word of God and who God is. And God wants you to understand who He is. Amen. I mean, that's why He went back to Genesis uh, to give you a few credentials. Uh, he wanted to let you know who He is and what He could do. I mean, I mean, so that you would have more confidence in your life when you have your encounter with Him. You will know I'm not going up against him because he's the one that hung the stars in the sky. Right. I'm not going to try to do nothing sneaking, sneaking around on him because he's the one that never sleeps nor slumbers. Right. Uh, he wants us to know who he is mm -hmm. when we look at the book of Genesis to make the proper application. Because unless you know who he is, you're going to stay in trouble all the time. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to think there's something that you can do that God don't know about. Hmm. Huh? But when you study the Old Testament, the application is you see a God who sees all and knows all and can do all. Come on now. Our application while we are studying this is the fact that we have to remember that God is the one with the plan. All right. We don't have a plan. Didn't anyone else have a plan? When man messed up, he didn't have a plan. He didn't know how he was going to connect back with God. But I said, when I say we have to know who he is, thank God that he's what? He's omniscient. He's all-knowing. Huh? Right, come on, Brother Milton. He already knew what was going to happen when he made man. That's right. That's right. Huh? He already knew that man was going to end up being imperfect. Even though I made him perfect, he's going to fall and cause imperfection. And that's going to bring a big mess into the world. He already knew that. But God works his plan after he plans his work. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, Genesis 3.15. Yes. Mm -hmm. He began his plan of salvation even then. Yes. And remember, that's the key pivotal chapter in the Bible. I'm always stressing the fact of Genesis 3.15. Everything else falls under Genesis 3.15. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Get that concept. Because that's when man messed up. And that's when God made the first promise in the Bible to send a redeemer for man. Because man could not redeem himself. Yeah. Now what I'm leading up to, Sister Mary, on, is the fact that all through this scripture, all through the testimony, all through the witness, when you study the Old Testament, you can always see that God, remember he have a plan, mm -hmm. remember he works his plan, but remember God used people mm -hmm. to fulfill his plan. Amen. Amen. He don't come down here by letter and do it himself. He used people. Mm -hmm. that, that's why you, when you look in the, in the Old Testament, all these people that God used, Kevin, they were common, ordinary people. Mm -hmm. God used common people to do uncommon things. God used ordinary people to do extraordinary things. So when we look all the way down through the Bible, we can see where God has always used common people. Adam. Abel. Right? If you just go all the way down, look at the fact of how he used Abraham. Common. Wasn't he here to do some extraordinary stuff? Be the founder of a mighty nation. How he used Sarah. In her old age. Mm -hmm. to, to have a baby. Mm -hmm. How he used Hagar. We're talking about common people. Mm -hmm. How he used Abraham's servant. To go find a wife. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. For his son. Yeah. Yeah. How he yeah. used Jacob. Yeah. Ja come with, the, the point you're looking at is. He used common people. Yeah. God has always used ordinary people. Mm -hmm. These people weren't all that educated. They weren't rich. Come on now. Yeah. When you look at the people that God used. They were people just like you and I. Come on, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But they were all obedient. Yeah. That, that's their commonality. Yeah. Huh? And he used Rachel. I mean common people. Yeah. Common people. Rebecca, Rebecca, she common. Wasn't nothing special about them. 
Aliyah. 